I grew up in Kosovo, it's a small country in the Balkans. I was able to witness the crippling you know, government mechanism, government capacity, economic deprivation of, of sorts, if you will. So that kind of gave me an incentive to influence positive social change in what I do. It was a post-conflict environment, so there was a lot of restrictions in terms of what a 17-year-old could do at the time in terms of advancing his or her professional career. When I came to the United States, it was a new opportunity in, in every sense. So this is one of the things that, that I valued, and this is something that I continue also to apply in, in the research that I do every day. I work as a research director at International Center for Study of Violent Extremism, which is a think tank based in Washington, D.C. So in addition to addressing uh, five core areas of violent extremism, we also focus on counter-narratives. So during the last two years, we have traveled worldwide. Whenever we interview ISIS guys, for example, whether it's in Iraq or in another part of the world, we try to understand what motivated them, what are the reasons that they joined, do they have regrets, how they can influence those who are thinking uh, about joining. So we try to also focus on preventative side. We also spend a lot of time doing field work trying to understand locally driven contextual drivers of radicalization and terrorism worldwide. Aside from that, we also try to humanize, if you will, the aspect of becoming a terrorist. We try to understand their stories. My goal is to bring the first hand, the primary research that we conduct on the field and try to bring it to my students. This is a great opportunity for them to try to understand the nuance, the contextual drivers of radicalization, try to understand what are some of the motivations that people around the world join violent extremist and terrorist organizations. My secondary goal is to create constructive environments, create plan platforms where they can critically exchange their ideas about the causes of violent extremism, we, you know, the environment in which we can debate, whether it be social, political, or, or any other. I live in Washington, D.C., and I do uh, circulate other universities. Nikol's students are very inquisitive in the sense they want to learn, they want to know. They're driven by passion to learn about what the world of violent extremism and terrorism looks outside of their campus. So to me it's very enticing and it gives me a lot of motivation to continue working with Nikol's students. As an expert, I try to introduce primary research so we can make informed decisions into, into what's going on around the world.